Okay, it's now it's not working. Hopefully we get some sound and video on here. Oh dear, to the sound of the mess. Hooray! And do we get sound? we do okay hello anthony welcome welcome sorry oh god we say kambawa um doing all the intro again and there's holly bank number three introducing itself um that is a recording on my own recordings of that actual locomotive at tracewater railway which isn't the real holly bank number three i have to add it's it's painted to represent it but uh, does so you can see at the top of the screen there we have got the shunting list. Top of the, the wagon at the top of the list goes at the far right end. The bag wagon at the bottom of the list goes at the far left end. I'm only looking to do an hour today, just to see if it works. I'm not sure if Saturday night's going to be the de facto night yet or not. I know that Rob and Grace are streaming at the minute. I was in their stream just now. Um, and I'll be rejoining it probably at some point later on. Or at the very least making sure the view's there for them. Um, just trying to support people and it's hard to know it's slot in. I'll see traditionally, those who know, I was always on Saturday night. So, but I know I don't own it, but you know what I mean? It's just like, it was a natural thought for me. That's where I'm getting at with this one. So, as we've only got an hour, we're already six minutes in because I was trying to get it all working. Let's get underway. So we want uh, the CR wagon to be at the end over here. So let's just. I've even got a light on. So if I come stand here, you see a shadow comes across part of it, but you get uh, you still get to see everything properly. So of course this is one of the 16-inch hundreds by uh, Rapido Trains. Hopefully the sound's still loud enough. I can actually bring it closer now. Right. Still uh, uncoupling with the Mark One hand. Were this a longer stream, I'd also show my gets purchase. But, uh, after a bit of a kerfuffle last time round, wanted it to be as smooth as possible. So uh, I've gone for this excellent industrial locomotive from um, Rapido Trains. So I hope everyone is well, I hope everyone's doing alright. If anyone has got any suggestions of when a good day is to stream, then let me know and I'll see if it works for me as well, because it's got to work for me. <laughs> Otherwise, it's, it's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> we're going to do here. Actually, I'm going to start to... Come on, thank you. Excellent. I'm glad you like it. I think it's wonderful, isn't it? It's, it's a lovely engine. It's a nice colour as well. It's 
So obviously, for those who know, I did have one of these previously, a DCC sound warp, which would have been most excellent for the shunting, but um, it just was not a happy runner, and it had to go back, and this is actually the replacement. So I've made a bit of an effort with some scenery, um, as well, so we're not just looking at a, a mess of uh, plastic planes behind it whilst... Uh, shunting a bit more immersion sorry ah uh, yes oh lost our train there Yes, I definitely think it's the prettiest of the uh, thumbs ups that they've done so far in terms of liveries. I'm lucky that it's the one that um, was appropriate for my uh, my wants, as it were, seeing as I've seen the uh, engine painted up like this at Chase Water. So a bit of sorting out to get the first shunt underway. What I can't believe this is this is running under DC. Um, it's so smooth and responsive. I keep thinking it's on DC. See, well, see, I've got the control in my hand. I don't know. It's an analog one, sorry, not a DC one. Though is also DC power rather than AC. We've got CL3, so we're going to run backwards and grab that one. Has everything gone all right for you with the? Uh the moving of stuff and the firing of the truck and everything, Anthony. So also, I'll be free immediately after this stream's done. If you want to have the chat still, or if you want to you just do a bit of a chat, a hangout, <laughs> a geek out. This CL wagon is actually Cheshire Lines, um, part of what became the, uh, well, part of the Great Central Railway, or oh, links associated with them, what became the, became the LNER. Right, I'm going to leave that one there. So we can come and get it with these two wagons that are left over here. Honestly folks, if you're thinking about an industrial layout, or needing an industrial engine, or just wanting a small 060 tank engine, I really do consider one of these Rapido Locos. I'm not sponsored at all. Um, I just, I love industrial locomotives. 
have done for decades now and this has to be one of the finest that I've ever come across. I'm hoping for a Plant Industrials uh, victory, because you're at victory, but um, my, my local model shop, which I'm in the Midlands, my local model shop is um, in Eastbourne, has put an order in for one, but uh, it's, it's, it's as yet to materialise at their shop for me, so uh, yes, I'm still waiting on that one, unfortunately. Actually, no, the combination for a lot will not work, not sure why, oh, sounds like so now we have to pay some Christmas fire. Oh blimey. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that my friend. That's really really irritating. Obviously what helps part of the amazing control I have over this engine is, is actually the track we're running on. This is a variant of um, the track that Anthony here uses. This is this is Tricks C track. Um, but with the jumper under this to make that frog live it means I get such better control over the locomotives because there isn't a dead spot for them to hit anymore. See, I'm on HW Warwick Wallace, which actually at the end of that um, break there. Hmm. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave these two here as well. I realise these are off camera to you. Run backwards. And I'm going to collect those two from the back row. And now I'm going to put HW Wallace on the front of these two. Push them all forward in. There we are, so you can see. And now I'm going to disconnect that one from there and put that back on the, the Dicket van back on the back row. If you remember the rules in England, look, my back two sidings can only take uh, three wagons each, my front one can take five, so I'm only allowed to pull four, three out at once. So. Oh, 
I'm uh, having to think about my moves here. pull four of these out, I'm just pulling these back to where I can get to the Cheshire Lions wagon so I can uh, uncouple it. It's also it's already in the right place. Okay. Monorail exhibitions, by the way, if you're down in the southeast in the Sussex, near the Sussex area, and of course it is the Uckfield Model Railway show on this weekend. I believe it's on again tomorrow, so there's one to something to go to if you didn't have anything to do. Check the website, have a look online, just make sure it is definitely on, but I'm pretty sure it's on tomorrow as well. Scale 4 Society, I've got a tribute to uh, one of the greats of the modern Royal world there, which is pretty good. About three or four is layouts, I believe. Um, yeah. Right, so next we want the LMS van, which is down at the back there. Some GC, so we're going to do a bit of shunting at the back here. Welcome DJ Scania Rig Rider. Thank you very much. It's <laughs> yes, it's it's a, it's a bit sort of uh, Heath Robertson setup at the minute, but uh, at least you got some scenery now as well as the buildings and the, you know the factory. We get, we get an industrial feel. That's why I thought the industrial engine would be most suitable for it. to come in and take that one. And basically swap that round with the Stanton wagon at the back. I hope you're well. So you've not got to the excitement of a fast high speed main line. But uh, this is this is my favourite place to be on the railways in the shunting yard. Or on a branch line.
How's that red wagon? Which, which one? This one? Or that one? Just coming in just for a shot. That was really nice you with the whistle. <laughs> There we are, and it's just the BR20 tonner to finish up our our rake when uh, once we put these ones in, which is at the, at the back of the middle line there, the big grey hopper. Just look at how slow we can go with this. <laughs> it's insane, isn't it? Unless we hear the real one, we'll see. <laughs> Real twenty is, is the grey hot one in the middle there at the back. Middle road at the end of the line, far right. I should really swap that out with something more exciting as well. I swapped the John Smith wagon out because of the connotation with Pocahontas and everything, which is actually a very sad tale. Not 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 quite how Disney made it, but um, yes, it's an incredibly sad tale. Put it lightly. Uh, so I sort that one out. I really should have sort that one out for something a bit more interesting. Um, and again, a well timed whistle just before we move backwards. Worldwide trades, planes and autos, welcome. Hope you're well, how are you? Oh, same sort of thing, I suppose. Right. these ones back. And once these ones are back in, that will be this shunt complete. Okay, 
to there. Hi, Tom Couples. How are you today, sir? Hope you're well. Right, I'll get the next list ready. Uh, go. So, properties. So it's Stanton GC. H.W. Wallace. Q.W. and Dickert Van. Okay. Q.W. And there we are, then there's our next list. Best of things, <laughs> not a problem, not a problem. Right. So what's our first one? Is Stanton. That's the one we're coupled to. So actually the first thing I'm to do here is I'm going to back up and put these two onto that uh, back row. Excellent to hear Tom. So I'm actually using a little piece of software I found, I can't remember where I found it from though, called Selector. Ingolux Select Selector, it is version 2.1 and uh, yeah, it's very, very useful. It's actually dedicatedly set up for Ingolux and or time savers. So I only looking to go for an hour today, so I started at 9, I finished at 10. UK time. So if Saturday works for people, I'll be looking to go for, well, my old three hour streams again. I quite enjoyed doing those once upon a time back in the day, which was always on a Saturday as well, but um, whichever day, that's, that's what I'll aim to do. Today just an hour. If Saturday works for people, I know there's a lot of people on the Saturdays, um, but I think I'm going to be treading on someone's toes wherever I am. So this is not, not Fridays. I can't do Fridays. <laughs> um, I'm open to suggestions from the chat and in the comments post the video. Depending on when suggested, I mean, I'll, I'll see if I can make it work for me. Because obviously that's number one importance, is it, it, it needs to work for me as well. But... Uh, Uh, Jaden, welcome, and Frenzier Games, welcome. Can you take the cab roof off the cab of the loco? Um, I do believe it is removable. I'm not looking to do it until I've got a crew for it, though. Um, it does look like it is doable in the instruction sheet, though. And enjoy Lincolnshire, one of my favourite counties to be in. Once I've got a crew for it, I'll, put, I'll, I'll perhaps do a little video on taking the cab roof off and that to get them in. Oh, what's going on here? We're going the wrong way. Oh, yeah, we're going the wrong way. Try again, please. No, it's still trying to drift that way. <laughs> Just behave yourself. So 
played. It's quite nice having help from the Almighty to uncouple my wagons today. Yeah, me and my dad and sister and get in and see Fly Scotsman. Well, that's, that's Yorkshire. That's not Lincolnshire, that's Yorkshire, my friends. A bit further up. So you get to repeat a six inch for Christmas, and repaint it from what kind of I have. And from model dress for Stanley from Thomas and Friends or 16. All right, nice, nice. I hope that works out for you. I can recommend. I mean, I recommend it. Running is fantastic. We're running on D, on analog here. Um, it, it not be able to say DC. It's actually analog. It's not. Uh, it's DC can power to the to the trains, but um, so with the. Yeah. If I put my. NC power cabin, that's still DC power, but we just command control as well with DCC stands for that bit. So it's analog is the opposite of that rather than DC because you can get AC analog as well. So analog is the term. So I'll try and use the right one. Yeah, we're in Yorkshire, we're taking Carrod uh, to Lincolnshire. Oh, nice, right. Wow, oh, quite busy then. Quite a busy trip then. Enjoy. Um, which day do you think you'll be there? fun I'll be I'll be there I should be at the NRM all being by myself actually on the 28th um, meeting a meeting a new friend there don't know fair enough oh yes they're gonna be brilliant those I, I, slight hiccup with the um, first 16 inch I had Was, was a bit duff, but everything else I've had from Rapido has been absolutely wonderful. And this is the best yet. Um, still really pleased I managed to find me one that, that worked. <laughs> right, uh, just uncouple this, and we'll go and collect those two to pick up stunts and then to actually start assembling this train. Um, Anthony, I just watched uh, old talking about documentary building of tanks. First of all, built in Lincoln, yes, yes indeed, Russell and Hornsby, who also built trains. <laughs> um, and later very famously cranes and things, Russell Bacaris cranes. And how a gentleman has helped build a replica Deborah too. Oh, that'd be, probably be Guy Martin. Um, I'm sorry, actually, the one thing I'm glad about that is that they built a female, not a male. Uh, the tank museum is right because of male. And the males weren't as good as the females. It's, it's, it's the machine guns were far more effective because you could shoot on the move as opposed to uh, having to stop to actually hit anything, which meant you were the largest thing now stopped on the battlefield and quite a target. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm glad that the female got some tall looking. They do have a Mark IV female in the Museum of Lincolnshire Life, actually, if you uh, go to that one while you're up there. Um, Friends of your games. Even when you do have the Almighty's help to uh, uncouple your trains, it's still going to get you right for the time. 
So Stanton first. We need Great Central next. So we might only get two shots in today, folks, but uh, yeah, it's just it was just to sort of put the feelers out there. I just like to think with an England over shunting puzzle, something's always going on for you to, to watch. It should, it should always be varied as well. Because that's something my streams have suffered with in the past. This is, um, oh, what's that? what do they call it? What's the, what's the management speak for it? Self-reflection. <laughs> But yes, I can highly, highly recommend these for a PDF 16 trumpet because they are lovely. So, to blow me on trumpet again for a minute, that photograph in the background is also mine. I took it at Foxley, which is one of my favourites I've ever taken of a steam train. That's, um, I believe that's a Rob Stevenson Hawthorne logo, I don't think it's a bag one. The XLMS brake run, a 20 or 21 ton hopper in tow. Just departing, I think that's, I'm no good with the names on the, uh, it's the Midway Station, about to descend the bank down towards Foxfield Collar itself. Not long after taking that picture, I got stuck up to the middle of my oh, middle, middle of my calf in the uh, in that mud. I had to actually two 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 uh, two other people had to actually pull me out of the mud, and then I had to go back for my trainer. It was still down there. I got a story out of it, <laughs> but it really was sucking me in. That, that mud. Once, once my foot was in there, it was really was a suction effect on the whole thing, um, which plays into why I think I was talking about the first before. It gives me an appreciation, a slight appreciation for what a, a, a minor version of what they, some of them, they had to go through. So we're going to dump this Cheshire Lions wagon on that middle row, because we want H.W. Wallace next. So we want to go on to the back row, and it's going to be a bit of back and forth here because the two items we want are actually in uh, reverse order in that siding. 
So I think what I might do is actually just bring the wagons just further up here slightly and form them up then uh, and push them both down to assemble the train. that one there and I go back and get the other one. There we are, shrunk complete. Right, so just to just to mix it up again for the last last shunt, I think we might just get one more in. So there's the next one. Right, just mix it up and I will finish this shunt, I promise. I'm not going to leave you hanging. Just so it's not all uh, industrial. My, uh, my Gets Purchase Loco um, will now do the last shunt. So, not quite so controllable as uh, long as it was, but uh, Oh, it's happened last time I sort uh, locos on a 
streamed in there. I really started going to, to pop pear shaped. Maybe I'll have to turn it around. Okay, we're going to need my shunting wagon. So we count the brake van as part of the locomotive. So that wagon at the front of that train. So the brake fans are rapido trains one as well. So rapido's managing to stay in shot from regardless of uh, <laughs> whether it's the uh, 45 or the 45 75 actually here, or the um, 60 inch.
So now we pick up the uh, 20 tonne. This is HW Wallace and then the GC wiper, so we're going to drop off Ooh. Drop off the uh, Stanton wagon Wallace and DC and Hedra Wallace will all be there together. Can I get it finished before the hour's up? Ooh! So on that back row, we collect all three of those. Collect all three of those. Ooh! Gee, maybe we don't want that. because it's Great Western then did cut. But remember, the shunt's not over, by my own rules here, the shunt's not over until the starter mag has been turned one of the other two sidings. There's our contest made up, but uh, now we've got one minute to get that uh, Stanton wagon wag into the back. So it's almost as big as a van, isn't it? Um, into that back row. I'm not going to rush it. Dead on 2200 finished. Well, so, folks, thank you for watching. Hopefully, that works for everyone. Um, 
I, I enjoyed that. Hopefully you, you all did as well. Uh, tried to make a bit of an effort for for it, you know, make sure we had um, a little bit of scenery to make it a little more interesting as I say rather than the pile of planes behind it. Um, you know, some sound effects going on and, 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 and the waybill, the actual genuine waybill that I do own the real one of. That's a scan of it there. Um, yeah. Right. Oh. Let's say, if, if anyone thinks that Saturday's a bit too busy, let me know if your suggested day below. I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to pick that one. Just that it'd be interesting to see when, when people do think it's best. Obviously, Friday's a no go. Um, for definite. And uh, if it works for me, when we'll, we'll, we'll sort something out. Um, but uh, yes, so as it stands at the minute, uh, the nine o'clock Saturdays till midnight, something, or doing a kit, I've got some kits we can do and stuff like that as well. Um, also, when the layout proper gets started, they'll be building the layout to do as well. Um, you know, construction layout and everything, running trains on that, which include passenger trains as well as freight and shunting and that sort of thing. Okay, right, so till then, I will see you next time. Take care, stay safe, and be well, all. And uh, yes, everyone, everyone uses the same style, I suppose, don't they? But uh, yes, happy, happy trains.